good morning and thank you for joining the San Diego Public Library's How To Festival. I'm Robert and today I'm going to be showing you how to make Uncle Sam out of these plastic pots. So originally I saw this with the terracotta pots but that's going to be like over four feet tall depending on how large the terracotta pots are. So I just bought simple plastic pots. Here's an example of how technically they are. These are smaller but you get the idea. These were two for a dollar so those were those. So you're going to need four pots in total. Then also you need paintbrushes, paint. It's Uncle Sam, so essentially he's just red, white, and blue. A little bit of black. I have some glitter paint. You need some tape. You don't have to use tape. There's white stripes on Uncle Sam's legs. So I taped it, but you can just paint over your, you know, red paint white, however you choose to do it. I have coffee filters. You just need to be able to make like little mittens or little, you know, his little hands. You can just do that also with just regular white paper you know, little cups for painting, etc. Pencil, you know, just to like, um, when I was trying to outline his hat, just to draw around on the cards or cardstock or construction paper, whatever you have. I have these little um, foam embellishments that I stuck on his hat. I have a mop, we're gonna use this for his beard and his hair. Scissors, red paint, I'm gonna paint some more and I have the glue gun, etc. So yeah, that looks about it. So here's, this is gonna be his legs and his torso. And as you can see the, <clears throat> I gave this several coats of paint. I don't like it. It's still very blotchy and you know, the paint just did not, it didn't work well, as opposed to the blue one, which I think worked very well. So like I said, I'm just gonna give it another coat real quick and I don't even like this color red so I'm going to add in just a little bit of a black just so I can get a nice dark coat. I'm going to mix these two colors together I was wearing gloves, and I need to wear gloves. Because this red is getting all over me. Definitely wear gloves. All right, so finishing mixing up my red paint. Got a nice good coat of black in there. It's pretty dark, it's good red. Let's see. So like I said, all I'm doing is just touching up. Just trying to get a nice even coat. That was the other thing, was it just wasn't coating well yesterday. I don't know if it was too cold or too humid or what, but I don't know, it just was not my day for painting yesterday. So yeah, this project will probably take you a couple hours depending on just painting it. Um, it's like, don't foresee anything else just really taking too, too long, but like I said, just painting it was, you know, and getting them painted here and I don't know. That's the longest part. Otherwise, uh, doing the craft part shouldn't take that long. And I'm just going around, like I said, just trying to touch this up just so when it finally does dry, it is a nice even coat of red. Then I can pull it off and or pull off the painter's tape, paint the underside white, and then finally uh, hot glue this to the body. All right, so now I'm just attaching some of his hair. Like I said, it just strands of the mop. <laughs> And so this part's gonna be his face. I'm just gonna start attaching some more strands on the opposite side. Still waiting for the red paint to dry. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm using these same strands for his beard. Let these dry for a second. The funny thing is, <clears throat> with this mop, all you have to do is pull the strands. I gotta put a little bit more hot glue. Stick these. This one got cold fast. So, all I had to do is pull them, and then you get a full strand. I'm just gonna keep. As you can see, I just did a couple different layers. I'm just gonna keep attaching these glue strands. 
and excludes thin mob strands. And then once these are all attached, uh, that's when I'll probably go ahead and paint the eyes. All right, I'm back. I finished attaching Uncle Sam's hair to his face. <laughs> I just think it's so funny. Um, I'm gonna now attach his face to his body and then I'll go ahead and paint on his eyes. So, let's see. Okay, that's the front of the most coverage. I'm just gonna literally hot glue this directly on and this is the same way I hot glued the red, the two red, his legs and the torso together. together. Yep, looks good. So, shake <laughs> Oh my gosh, you have to me. That's his face. All right, and I did not do the back. You can. But, I mean, we can't see it. So I was like, well, there's no point. But I might, just to finish it. Who knows? <laughs> so there are some embellishments I need to do. Um, I'm using, like I said, one of the copy filters. as just like a ruffle. So it's just, it kind of comes down to the front of his shirt. And as you see, the coffee filter's already folded. So let me see if I can just attach it now. I don't know if it has to be even or anything, because you know. This is technically an outdoor ornament. But see, I like that. It's, you know, actually, I'll try to straighten it out. And that might do it. Let's see. Okay. So, there's like a little ruffle thing going on. And this is gonna to be tucked under like a bow tie. So I need to make like a, just a little bow tie. All right. So just to get you an idea how it's gonna look. So just a couple more embellishments. <laughs> I know I need to stop laughing because I need to finish, but um, like I said, I need to attach a little bow tie and then some of his beard. His beard will probably be sticking out over everything. Um, yeah, and so <laughs> I'll be back when He's a little bit more put together. Okay, so I have his face and top part done. As you can see, like I said, just the bottom part was just giving me a lot of trouble because it wasn't drying correctly, or it wasn't drying. And then I didn't like the color. And I know you're supposed to paint the bottom part white first and then peel off the tape and touch it up, etc. But I wasn't gonna do that <laughs> just because I'm like, oh. Um, so I don't mind painting in the white. And by this point, I am not too concerned if it's like super straight or not. Just want to get it on there. I think the original person had used white duct tape. And you know, I went to three different stores, including Home Depot, and could not find white duct tape. So you can, that was an option. Uh, an option that I couldn't find. I found every other color of duct tape you know, because they make duct tape like um, specialty colors now. And I'm serious, could not find white. Three different stores, couldn't find it. So, yeah. I'm just going to slowly, just taking my time. I decided not to paint. It's not going to be perfect, but I just decided to hot glue strips of cardstock onto the spaces. And so, like I said, the original one had was it white duct tape? And since I couldn't find that and painting it was okay, but it's like, you know, it wasn't full coverage. And I'm like, I, I really have spent uh, a couple, you know, several hours on this project. And I'm like, I just want to finish just because, you know, if I was doing this at home, it's one thing, but I'm here at work, you know, it just, like I said, just the fact that I've been here for a while and uh, I'm ready to finish. So I'm definitely just 
and it kept going. So all I'm doing is just gluing the strips on just a little bit at a time. It might not be perfect, but it's cool. I probably should have made the strips just a little bit larger than the um, actual space, the lines. I made them exact, uh, but it's okay. I'm just trying to go slow. Just kind of get the tape on there. I think about these glue guns and glue sticks. I've said it multiple times, but they're different of my projects. The strings. <laughs> you always gotta watch out for these little strings. They just kind of go everywhere. Listen, it's not gonna be perfect, but worst comes to worst, I could either add another layer of light or even paint in on the spaces that it's lacking. Like I said, I can finish and do the touch-ups if, you know, if I want to, you know, if it's something that's not looking correct. So I think that'll be the front. This will be the back. And now I just need to connect <clears throat> the top to the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But to forgive me, I don't have an extension on my glue gun, so I gotta Last thing, <laughs> he needs a pair of boots. The boots are just like two little, <clears throat> two little things that just kind of come in the front, like no particular size or anything. They were just round, kind of like oval shape. Let me see, connection. Fold these over, do both the same size time. And have paint on me. That's nice. <laughs> okay, so I'm getting ready to glue his shoes. I'm gonna cut out a piece of shoes from. I don't actually have black cardstock. I actually have a piece of. It's actually a blue cardstock and black paper. So I just glued the <clears throat> black paper to the blue cardstock. And now I'm just gonna cut out these little boots of his. <clears throat> Might save enough space just for like a little top piece of the boot. We'll see. All right, so I'm going to attach the little feet to the front. Eh, they might be a little big. Let's see. I'm wondering if I should make them square or not. Hmm. Yeah, hey, we'll make them square. <laughs> they almost look like duck feet. <laughs> I better fix that. <laughs> oh my gosh. So they don't look like duck feet. All right, and lastly, he just needs two gloves at his side. I'm just going to cut him out of the coffee filters, like I said. Let's see. Just trying to round him out. Make them look like gloves or mittens or whatever. All right, let's see. Let's do two and two. Just putting a little bit of glue inside just to keep these two pieces together. Uncle Sam is complete. Uh, yeah, like I said, you can do some touch-ups, fix them up however you'd like. This is the front, and there's the back. And because I made him out of plastic pots, he's really light. Um, you know, you can take him, move him around pretty easily. Uh, the only thing, like I said, I didn't like was the paint, the red paint. Uh, I don't know. Um, I got the blue paint from the Dollar Tree and the red paint I had gotten at Walmart. So I don't know what was what. And you could use different paints, um, you know. Actually, you know, I thought this paint was supposed to be the better paint, but like I said, it just didn't really adhere as well. Okay, 
So as you can see, I've added a few more embellishments to Uncle Sam. <laughs> I added some stars around, fixed his hat a little bit. Uh, yeah, hopefully you like it. I know I did. Thank you for joining for the San Diego Public Library's How To Festival. I'm Robert. Hope to see you again real soon. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>